Here's a tip for anyone who's planning on remodeling a bathroom with a bathtub. And that, of course, is the area that is going to be between the face of the bathtub and the wall off to the side there. Now, this area does get wet, especially if you have a shower curtain. And, uh, of course, that's what they actually have in this particular bathroom. And if you have the door enclosures, the ones that slide to the right or the left, you're going to have less of a problem. But that doesn't guarantee that you won't ever have a problem with this area. What I recommend is using some type of a water resistant or waterproof material here, which uh, in this case, all they would have needed to do would have been to extend the panels that are used for the bathtub surround extend it uh, to the edge of the wall and then run another piece um, from the face of the tub to the edge of the wall something about uh, maybe two inches wide and then of course run that all all the way down to the floor now you're probably thinking hey what the heck i can probably just um, put a piece of trim let's just say above the tile well if you do that and you don't use a full piece here then the water can actually seep in between the grout um, and uh, it's kind of like one of those things that if you have if you're going to use tile then you could have a problem with the tile the, the water seeping into the grout i'm just throwing that out there even though that's going to be better installing tile is going to be better than leaving this area exposed um, just to the drywall uh, or the plaster and letting the water absorb in. Remember, all it takes is a little spot, a little hole, um, you know, an eighth of an inch or less uh, for water to get in before pretty soon you've got a bigger hole and you've got that allowing more water to get in, creating more damage. So I hope that makes sense, but now let's go ahead and take a look at a project I did uh, years ago, and this is with the Wonderboard or the DuraRock fiber to fiber cement uh, panels and you can see here at the bottom I actually ran the um, cement fiber board down about uh, four four inches let's just say uh, from the face of the bathtub to the drywall to give it a little room like I said this is a problem area um, so I went ahead and did that. Uh, so I'm not going over the drywall. I, I, a lot of times I'll see people, they drywall right up to the bathtub and then they run their tile on around the bathtub on the drywall. And that's not that good. I mean, let's face it, like I said, any moisture that's going to seep in between the grout on the tile, uh, between the tiles, um, could actually seep into the drywall and create problems. If you have the cement fiber board and you have water water resistant backing behind it, then you're obviously going to have a better shot at uh, uh, keeping this thing, making it lasting a little longer than having to soak into the drywall, get wet, drywall pops off, and that's the end of that. Here's what it looked like after I put the tile on, but I don't think this is grouted yet. I'll give you an idea, and I'm, and I'm sorry I don't have a better picture, but you can kind of see how it's going down around the face of the bathtub. This was obviously when I first started taking pictures. had no idea. If I could have took and, uh, taken pictures of all the stuff I had built, I would have an incredible library with me, but uh, that isn't the case. So started taking pictures about the time I was slowly getting out of construction. So that's it. I uh, hope it makes sense. And uh, if it does, uh, that's great. It's nice to uh, make sense every once in a while. If it doesn't, hey, feel free to leave any questions in the comment areas, and uh, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Anyway, off to the next video.